they spent that much? Really? Oh, yes, they did. And probably a lot more than that. Greetings, everyone. This is the gardening snail of Livingston, California. I've been city council watching since at least 2007, and now I'm just trying to make sense of it all. In this video, we're going to update some of the latest COVID-19 stats in Merced County, and then talk a little bit about how much Livingston spent on a general plan update that ended up being tossed out by a court because we're getting ready to do the whole process all over again. But before we get into the main topic, if you live in Livingston, you might want to take a look at this map and see if you can figure out where your house is and in which district it's in, because it's going to come up again sometime soon. On Monday, May 18th, it was announced that, that the Tuesday's regular meeting, the Board of Supervisors would discuss and take possible action regarding the next step on the variance to Stage 2 of California's roadmap to modify the stay-at-home order. On Tuesday, May 19th, the Board of Supervisors unanimously ratified the Department of Public Health's attestation that if approved by the state, would allow Merced County to move into an accelerated form, Stage 2B, of California's roadmap to modify the stay-at-home order. If the state accepted the attestation from the public health order and authorized Merced County to move into Stage 2B, it would allow for the opening of dine-in restaurants, malls and swap meets, and destination retail in a tiered fashion with appropriate social distancing and preventative measures. And there was also the Board of Supervisors unanimously proclaimed a local economic emergency due to COVID-19. On Tuesday evening, the Merced County Department of Public Health received approval from the state to move into an accelerated form stage 2b of california's roadmap to modify the stay-at-home order here we have a graphic which shows which businesses can open and which cannot yet open at this time tuesday may 19th was also the day that a covid 19 update was presented to the board of supervisors this chart updates positive case numbers for COVID-19 by county for Merced, Los Banos, Delhi, Atwater, Winton, Livingston, Gustine, and Hillmar as of May the 22nd. In this case curve chart, total cases are shown in red, total active are indicated by green, and total recovered are in gray. As of Friday, May 22nd, 5,293 tests have been performed in Merced County with 4,970 negative and 72 still pending. My graph here tries to show the relationship between the active cases and total cases, with active cases in red and the resolved cases are in yellow. I updated my graph to include hospitalization numbers. About 15% of total cases were hospitalized. 39% of cases are active. The death rate was 2.39%. And almost 94% of people tested for COVID-19 turned out to be negative. I've added an additional chart to calculate the percentage of positive cases by age group, as well as how many were hospitalized or recovered at home, with the assumption that the people who passed away did so while in the hospital. Moving on to Tuesday's special city council meeting, it's about starting the process for a new general plan update 
I do want to point out that the last time around, we spent nearly $1.7 million on an update process that was derailed around 2009. Now, I'm not going to get into the whole saga of the illegal 42-inch sewer pipe and the grand jury investigations and how they all figured into this whole fiasco. That's a long tale for another time. But I will include a few links in the description below this video just in case you'd like a little more history. This is a meeting of both the Planning Commission and City Council. Seating will be limited and you will need to wear a face covering. The whole thing is a workshop to kick off a new general plan update. A general plan is like a city's constitution for property use. It will detail how big the city will get, how much it will push out beyond its current borders. The last time we went through this process, the Planning Commission actually voted against adopting the update, but it was overruled by the Council. The 2025 General Plan update figured that Livingston would grow to over 100,000 in population, and from 2006 through 2009, nearly a million and a half was spent, nearly 1.7 million on the process if you add everything up through 2013. My only hope is that we don't have a repeat of the last fiasco. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments. If you're subscribed to the channel already, you might want to check and make sure you're still subscribed so you're notified whenever a new video goes live. And subscribe if you're new. Until next time, this is the gardening snail of Livingston, California, because not every critter is hiding under a rock.